Hey pros, Crystal here from Elite Hair Care USA. Good morning, happy Saturday. So today we have three clients that we'll be working with. So I have two silk press, I have a trim, and then I also have a tapered cut. So we're gonna start the day with, okay. <laughs> we're gonna start the day um, with my silk press client who's also getting a trim. She definitely stays on schedule. She's also salt and pepper. So we're gonna use our toning shampoo on her today. I'm just detangling her, which is something that I tell you guys to do all the time, right before you wash your hair. That limits the tangling and that makes your wash day so much easier. All right, so I'm gonna have you lean back for me. Okay. Come on now, okay. There we go. And then, of course, if you're new here, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button on your way in. If you're not subscribed to my channel already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. So what I'm doing is just saturating her hair and I'm also making sure that I rinse out any possible excess product that may be in her hair. Something that I always tell you guys to do whenever you are doing your wash day, if you have excess oil in your hair, before you wet that hair down, apply your Elite Clarify to your hair so that you can get that excess oil out. Okay, the goal of that is to make it so that your silk press is not greasy, so that the hair is nice and light and airy. Okay, because the moment you touch the hair with that water, if it's oily or waxy or greasy, you've just locked that oil in. Okay, so keep that in mind, you guys. Super important. That's definitely a pro tip. And I talk about that all the time. Okay, so for our shampoo, we're going to be using our Ultra Hydrate Sulfate and Protein Free Shampoo from our Low Porosity Plus collection. This is going to be our treatment shampoo. This is infused with snail mucin, which is something you guys have been hearing me talk about for the last couple weeks to months now. So this is going to instill a ton of hydration and moisture into the hair. But it only starts at the shampoo, but it finishes in the conditioner. A lot of you neglect getting your conditioners. You guys think that all the magic is in the shampoo when that is not the case. The shampoo starts the process, but the conditioner is required in order for you to finish or follow through with the actual process itself. So the hydration really comes from more the conditioner. It starts with the shampoo.
And then you guys know that our 50% off 500K celebration sale is going on through midnight Christmas day on both of our websites, which is the Crystal W site, as well as the Elite Hair Care site. And then I'll be soon launching our wholesale site for those of you who want to brand your own business. We basically take all of the work out of the process for you. So we're gonna towel dry her. Uh -oh, there we go. We're gonna towel dry her so that we can put the conditioner on, and then she will go under the dryer for about 15 minutes with her conditioner. Okay, and we're gonna be using the low porosity plus conditioner as well. This is also protein free. You want to just make sure that you get it all over the ends and then you work your way to the roots. A lot of you do that backwards. You work your way from the roots and then to the ends. And then you wonder why you're using so much product and your hair isn't really getting the nourishment that it needs because you think that it starts from the roots. It's the ends of the hair that needs it. All right, so what we're going to do is just rope twist her into small sections. This part of the process you can do as small or as large as you want. I'm gonna be quite honest. I do about five, six sections max in a client's hair. And I'll say between four and six because you don't really need super small sections for this. You just need to make sure that you can detangle the hair, distribute your conditioner throughout the hair, and then rope twist it. So she's basically getting the works today, you guys. Thank you, Jessica. So you guys see my rope twists, I make them nice and neat. That's super important as well. How you leave the hair is how you're training the hair. So if you're doing rope twists that are just big, they're not detangled, you don't really care about how they look, basically you're telling the hair to tangle even more when it's time for you to get to the shampoo bowl because you teach your hair what to do. Okay, so now that our rope twists are done, I'm gonna go ahead and put a processing cap on her. And then she'll go under the dryer, as I said before, for about 15 minutes. And then she'll come back and we'll rinse her with cool water. All right, mom, let's go to the dryer. 
I'm gonna take you guys with me. I'm sitting in this one. This one. So while she's under there, I'm gonna just put you guys up here. So my hair still needs to be dry. I have some parts of it that's not dry. I probably should go sit under that dryer myself. I didn't know you could give hearts now. Is that a new thing? Let me go and see. YouTube always rolls out something that you never can tell. It's some new stuff. I didn't even know you could heart stuff now. I don't, I, that is new. Good morning, Renee. How did you guys get the hearts? Where did the hearts come from? I'm really like wondering where did the hearts come from? Thank you, Cynthia. Congratulations on reaching 500K. You would never go back to filming landscape or portrait. You prefer a method now? No. So, Alicia, the YouTube has kind of made it that way where if you are doing a live, they want you to more do it in um, portrait mode. And then if you are doing like a video where you are uploading that content, then they want you to do it in landscape. So, like, if I do it in landscape now, what happens is it, it makes it so I can't read the comments because it's in landscape, which I prefer lens. Um, before, I prefer landscape over portrait any day because my vision, like, when I'm watching something, I don't like to see black sides on the video. But when you're doing a live, YouTube tells you that it prefers vertical, and they make it so that you can't read your own comments if you are doing it landscape. That is the reason for me keeping it vertical when I do lives. When I film, I try to film in landscape more. And then if I know I want to use that video for my TikTok as well, then I will also um, I will film it in, in um, portrait mode because I know I'm going to use that video two different places. So I agree with you. No, I, I do not prefer portrait at all. Absolutely not. But you'll notice a lot of YouTubers are filming in portrait for some reason. Regardless, you're amazing and baby C is too gorgeous. Thank you for everything. No, thank you. Hello, Australia. Let me see what time is my next client here. 
10.30. I have some time. So basically when my client goes under the dryer in the next process, I'll go under there. Because I need to dry for about 30 more minutes anyway. I don't know, today I feel exhausted, my back hurts, everything hurts today. <sighs> Good morning. Yes, you guys, for those of you on the live, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, please. Thank you. Don't be a skumina. Trying to see the comments, I can't. Trying to see the comments, I can't. Yeah. can't find my own video. How is this possible? Oh yeah. couldn't find the purple shampoo on the site so if you go to shop by concern you can go to gray hair um it's actually in almost all of the sections you can go to wavy hair curly hair coily hair you can go to any one of those actually and find it Do I plan on having another auction? Yes, I have so many items that need to go on auction. This is the life of a 
the life of a go-getter, go-getter, go-getter. I don't see a bit point out. Wow, wow, wow. Sorry, y'all. I'm watching Boosie say somebody said they're charging him $5,000 to make his tree white. So he takes the extinguisher and sprays it on the tree <laughs> for free. Oh, I love him. He's so funny. Edna, just waiting on my client. this wig that I want to put on I bought it from one of my friends 26 inches of wig because Junie decided to go and throw out all of my other wigs let's just not talk about it I'm gonna get mad <laughs> no he threw out all of my wigs like he's like babe those wigs were old babe and they just had this stench to them so I'll put them outside you put my wigs outside Mind you, one of them, I had just did a video and washed it and did all that. Mind you, one of them had actual sentimental value that he doesn't even know about. And he put my wig outside. He put five wigs outside while we were away. I forgot where we went. We went somewhere. New York. Because he came a day later. And he comes, he's like, babe, I put your wigs outside. You put my wigs outside. So that basically means that I have to restart the whole collection. So I bought this HD lace wig from my friend. I don't have HD lace wigs. So I bought this from her for $300 automatically. I was already upset because I'm like, Crystal, you know the wig is not $300. But... I said I would test it out because I possibly wanted to be able to vendor the wig. I haven't done anything to the wig, so I haven't like done anything to the knots. I haven't done anything at all to the wig whatsoever. And I have this thing with middle part wigs now. I used to be so in, insecure about my forehead. I don't give a damn if you like my forehead or not. It could have been the biggest forehead. It could have been a nine head. I don't care. I now wear my wigs the way I want to. And I'm just, I need to do it. I just haven't done it. Yeah. Just, yeah. I don't know how to feel about that. No, I don't know. He threw it away. Well, he threw them outside, and then you think that I'm going to put them on my head. You threw them outside. Like, come on.
and then I'm kind of excited too because an iron that I'm trying out to see if I like these irons I like the way they work that kind of thing is coming today so I'm going to be testing those to see how I like them and then what I need to change about them so they'll be like custom box custom logo like I'm I've gotten myself to the place where if it's not a part of my brand, excluding the liquid crack, pump it up, and excluding Sebastian Shaper, because I do use those two, and then excluding my relaxer systems, I'm not using it. So even my combs, I want my brand on. So I'm working to also get carbon combs. Those are heat resistant combs, like what you guys see me using. I'm working to get those as well, because I am no longer branding any other company but myself. And a lot of you got to get into that habit, especially if you want to build a brand. I used to promote other brands. There's nothing wrong with doing that. I used to use that to grow other brands and just be, you know, forthcoming and giving all the information. But as you grow, you start to learn to worry about your brand because you'll never see Walmart tell you to go over to Target and buy something. It won't happen. If anything, they see Target has an item, Walmart is going to go and find a way to get that item too. So that's another thing that I'm working on. Another reason why I'm also launching the Pro Beauty Wholesale site that used to be our um, private label hair care company. It's no longer a private label hair care company. It's now Pro Beauty Wholesale. Where that site, you can get um, wholesale skincare, wholesale hair care, wholesale beauty products that you can brand for yourself. And then as a part of your wholesale purchase, you get access to a... Um, basically an info sheet or an info packet that gives you details on different resources you can use to get your labels, um, different resources you can use to get your logo, different resources you can use to get your barcode, basically how to set that brand up um, as a free portion of you utilizing our Pro Beauty wholesale products. Um, and that comes as a standard as long as you purchase a wholesale pack. So a wholesale pack for us is anything eight products or more. Um, and it's eight products of the same product. The good thing about it is you can get eight shampoos and eight conditioners. That is how you wanna start out. You wanna start out with at least a minimum of eight of each because when you are promoting your brand, you're supposed to be promoting your brand as a collection. You never promote your brand with just one product. And I started out with one product, which is the reason why I'm saying that and I can say that because that is where I kind of, I, I, yes, I needed to start somewhere, but starting with that one product, I quickly had to find a second product because you can only do but so much with that one. And a lot of companies will tell you, oh no, that's not true. Well, I'm telling you from experience, I, I quickly got bored with offering one product and maybe that's the ADHD in me. I get bored very quickly with things and I'm always looking for new innovation, new technology, new things, new anything. So like my tools, you guys notice I never have tools long term. I always have my tools limited edition. Why? Because technology changes every 30 minutes. So if I'm still promoting this same steam flat iron from five years ago, well, how many steam flat irons can you offer before people say, okay, well, you know, that is not giving me the per it's not serving the purpose of what I want. It did at that time. Not everybody wants a steam silk press. You're steaming moisture into the hair, so the hair is going to revert quickly. You get what I mean? So those are the different things that I look at now whenever I'm looking at products. Like I'm looking into a blow dryer. Um, I'm looking into a new, a new pencil iron, a new one-inch iron that actually offers the same qualities. The good thing is the irons that I'm testing today to see if I like the makeup of this iron or what I need them to change goes up to 500 degrees. Okay, that's new technology. Irons now on the market go up to 450. New technology has made it so they go up to 500 now. So 50 degrees more. Is that dangerous? Could be, but if you know how to use it and if you're following me who's teaching you guys how to use my products, I never leave you in the dark of using my products. That basically is gonna say, okay, well, it's, it's usable. I have the ability to go up to 500 degrees, but do I need to for what I'm doing? No. So that is things that I'm working on right now. Um, I brought my new moisturizing cream to the salon with me.
my retarded self taped the label onto the cap. So this is my new um, moisturizing hair cream. Ooh, smells so good. Um, a little goes a very long way. This is for our natural hair. You can even use it for relaxed hair. If you're using it on relaxed hair, a very small amount goes a long way. Um, even our soaps, as much as our soaps. So a lot of people, I did a video yesterday, and I really didn't even get a chance to give you guys all the benefits of our soap. So I'm going to redo a video um, sometime today talking about the benefits of our soaps. A lot of people don't know that our soaps are actually all natural soaps. And when I say all natural, everything all natural, excluding the fragrance, because fragrance, you can get all natural fragrance, but in soap, it doesn't stick. So I can't say, oh yeah, I'm gonna get all natural fragrance for the soap. No, but we have limited our fragrances in the soap to less than 1% so that it doesn't um, give you any issues in regards to like irritation and stuff like that. Like, yes, the soap needs to smell really, really good, but anything over 1% of fragrance is just too much. It's just yucky, to be quite honest. So like our soaps, those are actually all natural. <laughs> and people wonder why I've gotten into the habit that we produce all of our products. Pretty soon I'm going to run out of space in our facility because we need more production space. But God will provide when the time is right. But like even that. So I'll tell you the base for our soaps like in regards to the oils. Good morning. So our oils are coconut oil, palm oil, safflower oil, kosher vegetable glycerin, shea butter, water, um, sodium hydroxide, which is also known as lye. You cannot make soap without lye, okay? So I'm just making sure everybody's aware of that. Um, sorbitol, which is a moisturizer. Sorbitin oleate, which is an emulsifier. The reason why we need that is because oil and water does not mix. So I have all these oils and I have all this water. Well, you need a chemically a chemical emulsifier to bind them together. So that is what we are using the emulsifier for. That pulls the oil and the water together as one molecule and combines them. That is how we're able to utilize that much oil. Um, vegetable, propylene glycol, which is from vegetable glycerin. So there is a propylene glycol on the market that everybody hates. And then there is um, propylene glycol that is derived from vegetable glycerin, which is what we use. Oat protein, that is a conditioner, okay? That, for those of you, oh, I'm protein sensitive, not on your skin, this is soap. We're not talking about your hair. Lastly, titanium dioxide. Titanium dioxide is a color, okay? That allows you to go from a clear soap to a white base soap, okay? So in soap, you can't put white color and then think that that's gonna change the color of the base. No, it still will stay clear. So you use titanium dioxide to make the soap white in color, and that white will become the base of the color. And then you can add whatever mica, which we use mica for our colors in our soaps. So you can add mica to it, and now that mica can either be pastel, or it can be a really solid color depending on how you use it. So that is the base of our soaps. When I tell people what, when I said yesterday that they're extremely moisturizing, that's what I meant. When I say emollients, I mean all of the oils, the, the palm oil, the coconut oil, the safflower oil, the glycerin, all these different oils is what makes up an amazing soap. We're not just talking about soap that you can get for a dollar at the Dollar Tree and then you're like, oh, it suds so well. Yes, but you feel like the Sahara Desert when you're done. Like your skin is itchy. And that's another thing that I've noticed. A lot of soaps, your skin is so dried out, so dehydrated because there are so many surfactants in this soap because all they cared about was the smell and the sud, no benefit. So a lot of our, our products are going in that direction. I've already gotten in the direction where all of my shampoos are sulfate free. All of my shampoos are sulfate free. Pretty soon, the Crystal W site will have some new body washes. Um, and then we also have a new shampoo that we're gonna be launching. Those, show, those products are made from plant-based materials plant-based raw materials, plant-based surfactants, okay? So I'm trying to get to the place where that's what sets me aside from everybody else. Yes, my price point might be a dollar or two more, maybe three, maybe four, but just know that at the end of the day, they have benefit. It's not just a cute label and a, a good fragrance and a nice color. That's what a lot of these products are. 
good fragrance, nice color. All right, ready, mama? Because that dryer don't seem like it want to stop. Oh, yeah, I'm ready. All right, I'm going to go rinse my client real quick, and then I'll bring her back. Your dryer has been going for about 45 minutes now. It's been that long. Oh, that was long. Come on. All right, so I'm going to towel dry her first. Hey, Carolyn. Good morning, Vaughn the Beautician. And then also with our Pro Beauty Wholesale, that is where you'll be able to get all of these different things you guys hear me talking about. Plant-based soap bases, extracts, biotin extracts, snail secretion extract. These different things that you guys are needing or wanting to be able to enhance your products so that you can enhance your brand. Took back from me. So I'm going to apply some B7 serum to her hairline before I put her under the dryer. And you guys know I tell you all the time about our B7 serum paired with our edge restoration cream. That is the chemistry for hair regrowth. And then you guys see me using my fingers to massage it in. You got to get that blood flowing. Okay, blood flow is the biggest part of it. And then I'm going to use some of our edge restoration cream. A little goes a long way. This amount is good for the whole hairline, which is why we sell it in two ounce jars, because you'll have this jar for forever. And it's nice and lightweight, so it's not going to do anything to the hair for me to soak press her. Hence the reason I'm putting it on while the hair is wet. All right, chin down for me. And then I'm going to finish her up with some of our Low Porosity Plus Ultra Hydrate Protein-Free Leave-In Conditioner. So we're going to go ahead and rope twist her. I went over there, needed clips. Walk back over here with no clips. Got clips, okay. I 
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and rope twist her again. I don't. So her hair is feeling hydrated. <laughs> I felt yeah. it, don't worry. <laughs> felt that rock. So that's one of two things. You're relaxed and you're tired. Yes. I just moved to a new city. I have no clients here and work a full-time job. I want to do here at home. What do you think should be my steps in achieving that goal? So Vaughn, I don't recommend doing hair at home. If you're gonna commit to being a stylist, commit to being a stylist. While I know that it's cost effective to do hair at home, you don't really build a clientele from home and I'm gonna tell you why. Because the moment you try to step away from home and go into a salon, those clients are num number one going to be startled because they're looking at it like, okay, so that means you're going to increase your prices. Number two, working from home does not attract clients. It actually scares them because they know that they have to deal with home problems. So if you're going to do this, I would say to go to a salon and talk to them about being a part-time stylist where maybe you work only on the weekends and you pay a portion of booth rental. And then you basically build it that way where you know you're only available Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And build your clientele that way. But I don't recommend working from home, ever. And take it from a, a stylist who knows. I have worked from home before and the biggest problem that I had was pricing. When it was time for me to move to a salon, everybody that was coming to my house to get their hair done, excluding maybe, let's say I had 20 clients at home, I'm going to exclude five. They came with me and they were okay with paying the updated price. The people who were coming to me at my house, they were coming to me because they knew that my price was lower and they were comfortable. But I wasn't able to really build, like, build from there. So take my foolish advice, don't do that. If you're gonna do it, do it the right way from the beginning, just start part-time. Start part-time. I'm not saying to go into a super expensive salon. Yes, I know you don't have any clients, but you will build clients faster working in a salon than you will working from home. Your job, once you get into that salon, is to promote, promote, promote. Even if you have to invite two, three people to get a service done for free. And this needs to be people of stature that have some type of influence in your area, or you're just using them so that you can get 
photos to promote your work, that's what you need to do. Hold on, you guys. Seventeen. All right, I'll bring you guys over here for a moment. Waiting on my next client anyway. She comes at ten thirty, so I'll just kind of dry my hair for a little while and answer any of your questions. Um. So yeah, Von the beautician. I definitely say to start that way rather than start from home. And you want to start building your rapport, rapport professionally. Working from home is not professional. I don't care what anybody says. It's not professional. It's not going to build you professional. It's not going to get you those professional people. It's going to get you exactly the kind of people that it gets. People who want to lowball prices, people who are super comfortable and they want super access, and these people don't follow you. Um, Elaine, I know your current, your content is mostly for educational purposes. But I really love watching you do hair. It's relaxing and it helps me relieve my anxiety. So I appreciate you a lot for that. Thank you so much. Thank you, Elaine. Is Grace on here? I don't even see her. Grace not even on here. So my hair is basically dry, but this area right here in the front is not. My time is limited. I'm a GM, so even times when I think I have time to do this career, it's taken by the job I work. So Vaughn, that's, that's a decision you're gonna have to make at some point in life. Um, you cannot build a business in inconsistency. Either you wanna do this or you don't. And sometimes it requires you to take a step back. And sometimes it requires you to step down from being in such a high level position because a GM is a career. That's not that's not a um that's not a job temporarily. That's a career. And if your plan is to be a GM because you like it, hey Andrew, you can sit in my chair. If your plan is to be a GM because you prefer being a GM, then you need to go ahead and just say that that's your career choice. If your plan is to be a hairstylist, you're going to have to make some sacrifices and it might even require you to demote yourself so that you can get that time to build. But I don't recommend sitting here. Ooh, I like those Tories, honey. You know I'm a Tory crackhead. Um, I don't, I don't, I'm not gonna say go quit your job today, but you need to start making that plan for transitioning if that's what you wanna do. Cause you're gonna waste a lot of time in life. I did that already. I tried to work a job and think that I was gonna be a stylist and then I got mad because I wasn't making money the way I wanted to. It, it took me getting fired from my job to say I would go to hair full time. How are you, my dear? So, you need to kind of sit down and get a plan together. You put your feet on the um, Get a plan together for you to know which direction you're going to go. You cutting it? You get trim this. Just the back. Just the back. Okay. We're gonna go to the shampoo bowl. Okay. I'll just wash it because I don't really have much to take off in the back. Just a little bit. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and shampoo my client. This one is just dry, not this one. She has a tapered cut. She's also natural. She also has highlights. Mm -hmm. um, so we're gonna use some purple toning shampoo on her today. Tone these highlights. We're gonna leave it on a little bit longer today to help remove some of that brassiness that comes along with highlights and gray hair and all that stuff. So I'll show you guys how we do that using our Voila Purple Toning Shampoo.
Kurwa. All right. So we're gonna start, of course, um, with her hair. I'm actually not gonna clarify her. I'm gonna go straight into the treatment shampoo because she's fine textured. So her treatment shampoo today will be the B7. A fine texture is we want volume. Even if it's for five minutes, that's what we want. You can ask her. Her hair lasts about five minutes with volume. You can put a billion pounds of um, spray on her hair. That means mm -hmm. nothing. Thank you. I just dislike when I try to start my own business. It always, it's always an obstacle in the way when I get ready to do my thing. Because you're thinking too much about it. You're thinking too much about it. Come up with a plan. Whether that plan be you talk to your job about possibly not working weekends and you work Monday through Friday, whatever hours they need you, but you need to talk to them. Come up with a conversation so that you can start seeing where you need to be putting your time. Hey, Angelina. All right, Mama, come back. But I talk to your job first. And I just want to remind you of something when it comes on to the corporate world. You are always replaceable. So don't ever think that because you you giving your job a million percent that they will not drop you in five minutes and hire someone they can pay 10000 less than you whenever they need to. So you need to get your plan in order soon. Don't get dependent on, oh, I'm going to just, I'm going to work this job for 40 years. Um, COVID taught a lot of people that you are basically uh, a piece of material to any company. I saw people go from making six figures to now you're making $16 an hour at some call center job being talked to any kind of way by a 21-year-old manager. And you were at your job 25 years, five years from retirement. And they were quick to let you go. You know why? Because they're looking at it like they got to pay you this retirement and you are going to be a liability for them at a certain point. You will no longer be an asset. Okay, I'm going to take some of our Voila Purple Toning Shampoo and I'm going to rub this all over her hair. And I'm going to allow it to sit on her hair for about three to five minutes. This is going to help to tone a lot of the brassiness that comes along with highlights and gray hair. Okay, so you just let that sit on the hair, let the color molecule process. Thank you. Now, as I said, um, what's his name? The beautician. I can't remember your first part of your name. I'm not telling you to go quit your job, okay? I'm not telling you to go tell your job to kiss your A because y'all know that I'm not an asset. I'm a liability. I'm telling you to start getting a plan together so that you can figure out where you want to be a year, two years, and 10 years from now. And someone told me that a million times over when I was still working a corporate job. And unfortunately, I was not able to just quit my job because I had bills to pay and I had two mouths to feed. And I was afraid to take that jump, which I probably should have taken it a long time ago, but I allowed fear to get in the way because I, I doubted my own capabilities. Once I officially got fired <laughs> and had no choice, because guess what? You're ex is it expendable? Expendable is the word, right? Mm -hmm. I was expendable to them. I had worked for them. I had given them my entire, my entire being. You know, I was all for the job. I loved my job because I had an admin position and it was just, it was paying my bills. I knew my paycheck every week. But when time came for them to say, well, we don't really have anything for you to do. So we're just going to go ahead and let you go. But we're going to give you this two week severance. That's $800. Okay. My rent was $765 at that time. So me having two weeks of pay at $765 for rent alone, I had a $500 car note. I had daycare for two children. I had groceries. I, had, I was getting food stamps. I was getting Medicaid at that time. It still was not enough. I still was not able to do everything that I needed to do, right? So eventually, I had to say, okay, am I going to go back to someone's job and be told what to do and when to do it? And then when they're done with me, they let me go and say, hey, we're going to go ahead and give you this two-week severance. And then don't worry, we're going to go ahead and push through your unemployment. Right. 
that's that's what you're banking on i learned the hard way i learned the hard way i don't bank on anyone else's pocket but my own because you can go in there and give them 30 years of your life and if they need to make a cut they are going to cut the most expensive people first which is usually who managers because managers can't be a part of a union that's number one Number two, managers are salaried people, so they have to promise you this amount of money. They cannot say, well, we're going to just go ahead and cut your hours this week, and we're just going to lower your salary by half this week. That's not how it works. But they will let you go and hire a 22-year-old who is just as capable as doing your job, teach them exactly what you do, and pay them $16 an hour. And that 22-year-old is so happy because they got the title manager and $16 an hour, and they let you go. So remember that. Remember that. All right. So right now the color molecule is developing. This is how a toning shampoo works, you guys. You put it on the hair. You leave it on the hair for a few minutes. Once you finish leaving it on the hair, you can check to see if it's toned enough. Rinse it off and you can do it again. Toning shampoo can be used multiple times if need be. Okay. There is a color molecule in there that has to develop, which helps to tone out that brassy color. Hence the reason why it says in the instructions, apply a quarter sized amount to wet hair and lather, rinse, repeat if additional toning is desired for added moisture and tonality, follow with an elite moisture hair mask. This you can put on and leave on for up to about five minutes. Rinse it off and you can do it again. Okay, I try to do it in one shot, but some people do it three, four times because this is a healthier way of toning the hair rather than using a demi-permanent color to tone the hair. Tilt up for me, let me see something real quick. I have fear that I won't make it sometimes in the industry, but I feel that I can make more money doing hair as long as I'm consistent. That I think why I don't go far. I didn't give it a chance. That was me too. Honey, you're, pre you're preaching to the choir. All these thoughts that you've had, I had. Okay? I even had the, I had a part-time job while I was building my clientele. That part-time job was me working Monday through Friday from home on my computer from 8 a.m. to like noon. And then from there, I knew that my schedule could suffice for me to do hair, okay? That's what I did in the meantime of me building my clientele. For her conditioner, I'm gonna use the B7 conditioner, which is the instant conditioner, nice and lightweight. I did that for about a year. I did it through this company called Arise where I was doing virtual customer service for this company in Canada called Rogers, which is their phone company. Um, I was doing that while I was building my clientele. And once I got to a place where I knew that I needed more time to do more hair, I let Rogers go. So there's other ways that you can still pay your bills. You just have to figure out a plan and stop telling yourself that you're not gonna make it. That's number one, don't tell yourself that. You already killing the dream before the dream even starts. You killed the dream ahead of time. You built the bridge and tore it down before it even was finished. You know what's so funny though? Why don't you tell yourself that you don't think you're gonna make it as a general manager? <laughs> Why are you gonna tell yourself that? You'll kill the dream of being your own entrepreneur, but you won't kill the dream of you being a general manager for somebody's um, office or company. All right, mom, you can sit in my chair. Don't do that to yourself. They do the same thing to older experienced teachers. They always hire fresh out of college. Yep, because fresh out of college is so happy with making $22 an hour and working at a Title I schools 
and being burnt out. Uh-huh. That's how it works, honey. All right. So we're going to go ahead and trim her up just a little bit in the nape. Some off the top of the It depends on how bad it is. Okay. Sometimes you need a stronger toner. Okay. Now you can start with the toning shampoo. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you might have to do more than one, like I was saying before. Okay. But if you notice that it's still not toned enough, mm -hmm. then she needs a pro, like a more professional toner. Okay. It's just like like if you buy Roundup and your weeds are so bad, it can only do but so much right. before you need a professional style weed killer. Mm -hmm. Perfect example. <laughs> Can only use vinegar and water, but so much. <laughs> but yes, that's what she use on a regular basis. you guys I'm not doing much style here I promise <laughs> we learned that the hard way it does nothing
that is exactly the problem and I'm telling you once again from experience I doubt myself even to this day I have plenty days of doubt plenty all right so I'm gonna go ahead and blow my client out Do I use heat protectant? Yes, absolutely. So our heat protectant that you're speaking of, that would be our mended frizz control. I use about a dime size amount. We are also coming out with a heat protectant spray, um, 2024, that you can use when the hair is wet, right after your leave-in conditioner.
And then remember, I put some of the B7 serum and the edge restoration cream on her hairline. If you guys notice, her hairline is not all cakey and built up. And I did that right before she went under the dryer. So I'm going to be giving her a trim, so I'm going to soap press her all the way. My hair would go that pretty salt and pepper like her instead of a spig here and there I will let my color grow <laughs>
So I'm just still pressing her right now. And then we're going to trim her. And then I'll style her and she's out the door. Ready for Christmas. Looking cute. This part of the head is usually the most coarse on anyone, right here. Right here in the hairline.
All right, so we're gonna go ahead and do her hairline real quick. Thank you. All right, let's go ahead and trim her.
we use ship to Thailand? Uh, I think we do. I think so. We use Shopify for our shipping, so we have to see if your area is listed. Finish her with some goddess polish. made for people like yourself. All right, my dear. Oh, my hat's just so good. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. Well, you can see yourself up there. They need a mirror. Right there. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.
thing before that. Okay. Three? Mm -hmm. Thank you, my dear. So I'll see you after the holidays. Happy well, Merry Christmas, Merry Happy Christmas. New Year, all that good stuff all in one. Go ahead and go to the shampoo bowl. Absolutely. Um, I have the door locked, so let me give you the give you the key. When you come out, just lock it back for me, okay? And then just close this when you come. To get out, turn the knob that way. Okay. You'll notice you can't get out if you turn it the other way. Okay. All right. Okay, Mom. You. You're welcome. Thank you, guys. All right. So this is my final client of the day. She has salt and pepper here, more salt than pepper. Um, we're going to do the same thing with her, where we're going to tone her using the purple toning shampoo, which we do that with every wash. Let's hold right there for me for one second. Sit up. So she is 100% salt and pepper. As I said, she more of her pepper is around her hairline and then the salt is everywhere else. Different, right? I know. And then she also has kind of like a short style. So we mold her, put her under the dryer, all that good stuff. I'm actually gonna shampoo her today entirely with the voila shampoo. So you guys will get to see that. Come on back. So the only shampoo that's going to be different is the clarifying shampoo because I'm going to clarify her first. And then the rest of the shampoo will be the voila. And I'm actually going to mix the voila with the clarifying shampoo and create what? A cocktail. Alright, so we got our voila here. And you know, I think I'll use some soothing balance today, actually. Okay. So this is what you call creating a cocktail. Thank you, Jacqueline. And then the final shampoo will be with the voila again. But this time we're gonna leave it on the hair for about two, three minutes.
what I'm going to do is while that's sitting, I'm just going to go to the restroom real quick. All right, let's go ahead and rinse her. So right now she has a very light lavender hue on her hair. And then I'm gonna go ahead and use our B7 conditioner the instant conditioner to condition her and then we'll use cool water to rinse her You guys look her hair has that pearly hue to it which is always going to be better than that yellow no one likes that yellow and then I'm gonna spray her with a little bit of hydro strength leave-in spray remember all of our products are 50% off up until Christmas so you guys have access to all the different products that you guys see me using today plus my crystal W on site I haven't said much the crystal W website everything is also 50% off that includes our Yoni products, our soaps, Elite Eats, our La Pure Scents, all of that is included. Okay, so we're gonna mold her and then she'll go under the dryer. Now, when you're doing a natural hair mold, I want you guys to remember you have to be quick. Okay, she is natural. So number one, I'm gonna put a little bit of our frizz control on her hair. Because I know that she has short hair, I'm gonna use the frizz control to seal the cuticle before I put her under the dryer. Okay, this also keeps the hair from drying out or dehydrating. A little goes a long way. Okay, and then I'm gonna take my Elite Silk Wrap Foam and I'm gonna start from the back and then work my way towards the front. Chin down for me. When you're dealing with short hair, speed is everything because it will start to revert on you. Okay, so speed is everything, especially if you're natural. 
And you wanna make sure that you have enough wrap foam on the hair to make it nice and pliable. get a little bit more of the weak silk wrap home put it on this side and the front Okay, so I'm gonna use two different techniques to mold her down back here. So I'm gonna use some end papers down here at the base. Right here by the ear. Same thing. And then one more right here by the ear. And then I'll take my little wrap paper. Now she's gonna go under the dryer. Crystal makes me wonder if you pre-plan your client's needs or work as you go. So much hair diversity. Honestly, it's whatever my client's getting for the day. I don't, I don't even really look at myself until the day. Okay, so we're I'm gonna curl up my client now. Girl, I need a shampoo that doesn't tangle my hair. I'm natural. Well, shampoo doesn't tangle your hair. It sounds like you're not detangling before you start and you might just be using the wrong style of shampoos. Certain shampoos are made for certain things. Certain hair. All right, so this is our new moisturizing cream. I'm gonna use a very small amount. Just because she's natural, that doesn't mean that she can't use it. Mm 
bring you guys in closer. You guys see how it's nice and lightweight? She is fine textured and I'm able to use it on her hair. And this is really made for natural hair or dense, relaxed hair. My mom and I love your products and videos. Thank you for teaching us how to professionally take care of our hair. Thank you.
was trying to order a low porosity hair kit and they said they don't ship to California. Why is that? I received other products from you before. Um, someone else had a, the issue like that as well, Lisa. So if you send an email to info at elitehaircareusa.com um, and just send the items that you want to order, we'll send you an invoice and you'll be able to pay for it that way and we can ship it. I don't know what's going on with Shopify with the address situation. So if you just send us an email with your full name, address, and items you want to order, we'll send you an invoice with your correct address on there and then you'll be able to order that way. There's something that either we're not understanding or Shopify has an issue with um, that's giving trouble. I mean, I'm not Shopify, so I can't really rectify it. It's something that we kind of have to reach out to them and kind of figure out. But in the meantime, we can help you that way, uh, which is what we've been doing for some clients this weekend as well. So the email is info at Elite Hair Care USA dot com and as i said send your full name mailing address and the items you want to order and then we'll send you back an invoice um, with the price adjusted with the 50 percent off and your address and all that in there already it's not giving us issues to send the invoice it's just giving you issues to order from wherever you are How are you this beautiful Saturday? I'm in Orlando on my way to Port to board a cruise. It's been a minute since I've been here in Florida. The carpet at the airport. Nice. Well, enjoy your cruise. I want to go on a cruise. Mm -hmm. Never been on one. I've done everything else but go on a cruise and a train. I thought the purple shampoo could not be the final shampoo. Learn something today. Actually, the purple shampoo would be your final shampoo. You tone last. It can even be your main shampoo if you want it to. We just don't recommend it. We want you to treat the hair first. We keep her hair out of her face, okay? Because it's coming. Uh-huh. I see her moving her hands. She's like, Whew. all right. Come on, Crystal. It's happening. It's happening now. I know exactly what that means. When she does that, I know it's coming. Time to get up. She got her fan on and everything. Okay. Uh -oh. That's okay. Makes it so hard to push your luggage. Oh, the carpet, yeah. Ciao. Okay. Thank you, my dear. Thank Have you. a Merry Christmas. Merry, Merry and I will see you. Is it after the New Year? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I'll see you then. Alright, so my hair is wet from sweating. <laughs> I'm going to go under this dryer that I hate. Sit under there for a few minutes to let my hair dry out a little bit. <laughs> Bye, Miss Andrew. Bye, babe. Um, let my hair dry out a little bit from me sweating. And then curl it up. Because I have some time. It's time. Doom, doom, doom. It's coming off. It's fine. It can come off. I need this drying.
Ugh. I have high porosity hair, no relaxer, color a honey blonde with two inches of salt, new growth. Which of your products do you recommend? So high porosity, um, are you fine textured, coarse textured, or medium textured? Are you fine, coarse, or medium textured? That's gonna answer a lot right there. Waiting for an answer. I guess she's not on here, so guess what? I cannot tell you. something on my neck that itches. Well, I guess she didn't hear my question, so we're just going to move on. If you guys have any other questions, you're welcome to comment them. I'm 
morning, Crystal, and all in the chat. I love your videos and products. Is Mandy Frizz Control also 50% off? It doesn't reflect in the cart. Let's see. It should be. So let me check. This cold thing has been giving me nothing but problems. Yes, it is. It should be fixed now. Uh, I don't know what's wrong with this thing. I thought of a game plan for now. Um, Janice is fixed now. Medium, um, oh, your coarse textured. So high porosity coarse textured. I'd use the hair repair and restore shampoo and conditioner. Yeah, that should help you. Crystal, I thought of a game plan for now. That's to save the money I need to start my business. For now, I can buy mannequins, work on my speed, and rebuild my foundation and use that for content. I mean, that's a good plan to start with. I'm not going to damper your plan, but I still feel that real hair is going to always be different. You got you to gotta practice with real hair, too. Um, I would say, you know, instead of just wasting the time practicing on the mannequin, if anything, I would take some classes. Invest in some classes to enhance your cutting skills. Investing, you know, you, you want to enhance what you love. That's where, that's where you want to start. Whatever you love to do. So for me, I love hair care. Am I going to take a weaving class? No. Start with what you love. And that's kind of one of the reasons people kind of burn out because they try to do everything. So I would say to start with the one, the one style or one area that you know you are amazing in, that you are confident in, and then take some classes to enhance that. Those classes should be classes of substance that are going to teach you um, other ways or better ways for that skill. So like for me, I've taken silk press classes. I've taken shortcut classes. I've taken coloring classes. I'm not gonna go and waste my time and take a class that teaches me how to melt lace. That's a waste of my time. Um, so I'd say look for that, look for stylists that you actually like their work, that are influential to you on social media and follow them. So, you know, if they ever have a class or you can just follow them and watch their videos. I'm a watch by, I'm a learn by watching and learn by doing kind of person. I can also learn by reading too. But for me, I like to learn by watching. Once I can see you doing it, I can see the technique with your wrist. I can see the technique with the cut. I can see how you are dividing the hair, that kind of thing. Then I go and I improvise from there and that's when I take my mannequin out. So definitely invest in some classes in the meantime. And yes, stack your money. Um, you're never gonna stack enough. I mean, I'm gonna be honest, you'll never stack enough. So don't let that be your game plan for too long. But I think you still need to work on the game plan of the exit from your job, I'm going to be honest. Um, because like I said, a general manager is a career. That's not a job. That's not something that people typically just walk away from. And right now you are in career phase of your life. So you have to start developing a plan to, if this is really what you want to do, to taper back from that at some point. And you need to kind of give yourself a time frame. Of course, it might not happen within that time frame, but if you don't tell yourself that this time, December by December 2025, I do not want to be working for this company, I want to be on my own, you are never gonna have an end game because you're just waiting for something in limbo. You're just waiting in vain. You're just waiting and just watching the sky. I think today is gonna be it. No, 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 give yourself a date and stick to that date in your mind mentally so you know that between now and December 2025, you should have taken multiple classes, you should have um, saved umpteen thousand or whatever you need to sustain a booth for you know, six months or whatever, give yourself a time frame of building like that. That's what I mean by game plan. Um, Jacqueline, I answered you already. The hair repair and restore shampoo and conditioner. 
I watched Twin Master Stylist Eddie Hair Pistol in your video. So Tony actually is right up the street for me. That's my bestie. Um, great person to watch. Tony does not like to show technique though. So you need to watch stylists that actually show you technique. Tony is a stylist that shows you the end game. But Tony is a genius in between the two, but he doesn't show you in between the two. He shows you the finish. So you need to watch stylists that are gonna show you in between the two. The beginning and the end, but they need to show you, um, like kind of like how I show you. I mean, they, they're they not gonna give you everything, but some stuff, you know. Consider my chair moment. So good, good, good concept that you watch some of these people already. That's really good. Um, another stylist I'd say you can watch, uh, Mad About Michi. Mm, she does more weaving now, but she used to do a lot of like haircuts and stuff. Um, Jillian Garcia, that's Artistry GG. She doesn't really show you the process. She more shows you like the end game, kind of like Tony. Um, yeah, broaden your horizon. That's all. That's all. But you have you have the beginning part of the process right now. The fact that you even came up with a very short plan, it tells me a lot. So I did, that means that you're definitely looking to really be serious about this. So that's great. That that is really good. So you are definitely in the right direction. The only thing I'd say to add is, like I said, um, put a date in your mind that by December 2025, you want to be in a salon. Or by November 2024, you want to be part-time at a salon. And that gives you the ability to now work towards that goal. Because you put a date on it. All right, so my client is dry. That gray is looking nice and silver. This is what I was telling you guys about the purple toning shampoo, which is called Voila. Um, I'm going to put some um, frizz control on her hair again because now I'm going to curl her and I want to get a level of protection between the heat on the iron and her hair. I did not go through and tone this hair for it to now go back to yellow. Okay? So this is just going to help to keep that hair nice and toned. All right. So her hair is a little bit longer, so I have to do her curls a little bit wider. Uh-oh, chin down for me, mom. Chin down, just like that, yep. Her hair is definitely growing. Did you notice that? Mm -hmm. You guys see how nice and pearly that hair is? That's why we call it voila. Like a magician. You guys see how easy her hair is silking? That's what that Elite Silk Wrap Foam does. It just makes the process a lot easier.
Yes, Angel Robinson. She is another one. Thank you. I could not think of her. She's really a big one on YouTube as well. I used to watch her as well. She teaches a lot of start to finish. Definitely. Thank you so much for that reminder. I could not think of her name. I wanted to say her name and couldn't. But I've watched her and she's really, a, honestly, just like me. She gives you all the deets. And you can also take her training classes too. Hold your ear for me, Mama. Why did I start at the top? Because it's easier for me to start from here and go down than to start from the base and go up. I can see the style better. And I won't burn my client as much. Because <laughs> my client here, she be jumping. It's like shark bite. All right, we can let it go, Mama. Vaughn, yes, yeah, she is great. She is great. She has an academy, I think. I think she started a school of some sort. It's been so long since I've watched her. But before I got like really popular on YouTube, I was watching her. Yeah, definitely, I like her. She breaks it down really well. And a lot of her tutorials, she gives them for free. And then you can pay for some of her stuff. Took this way for me. You guys see how pearly that hair is? That is what you want from a toning chin. Pearly.
right, so I'm spraying her down with some goddess polish and then some Sebastian Schaefer just for a light hold. How's it looking, you guys? How's it looking? Nice and pearly? Because it is. Thank you. All right, she's all done. <laughs> she's like, let me look at Catherine. That's nice. Ooh, uh. Good? <laughs> Very good. Thank you so much. Oh, I have one there. You know, Carter Cash. Carter Cash. She's following my instructions about stop clipping that hair off with those glasses. Right. You did it right. Okay. <laughs> it makes a difference because if you don't, then your sides stick out. Alright you guys, I'm going to curl up my hair since I'm done. Ooh. My hair is dry now. It's kind of like dry wet because I've been sweating. So we use the blow dryer up here. In January. The calendar's open, by the way. So you can go on there when you're ready. You want me to do it now? Uh, or you want to do it? I'll do it. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, cool. All right, thank you so much. You're very welcome. And have a great holiday. lock this door. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and finish my hair.
which I, I gotta actually let y'all go because I have to film the rest of this video with my hair. And I can't do it with me on live because the footage has to be on this phone. So, unfortunately, I'm going to have to let everyone go for the day. Um, but you can check out the finished product um, on my video when I upload it. So you guys can get to see that on my channel. And then, of course, I will talk to everybody later. Don't forget to go and shop the 50% off sale, which is on both websites, EliteHairCareUSA.com and also Crystal W Online. And then I'll talk to everybody later. Peace.